guys welcome back to the phoebe way today's video is my third gift to you in this advent season and it is the things that you should look out for in december 2023 well you've seen the snow most parts of germany is covered in snow and even today um trains are not running from munich main train station but it's not just that deutsche bahn is releasing um, the winter timetable so please look out for these um, countries these towns if you are planning to travel to or around them I'm just going to put the routes that are affected um, right here and then the next topic the next thing that changes is that um, there is a race for care workers so Pflegekräfte you are getting a raise in your salary or in your wages and that is good news for you. I'm also going to put the people, like your different categories and different qualifications. So depending on your qualification, I'm going to put the amounts just right here so you can check that out. That is also something that's coming in December. Another thing that is in December is that this year's um, holidays, the 25th and the 26th, they fall on Monday and Tuesday, right? Yeah, so the 5th and 26th fall on Monday and Tuesday. So please make sure that you are covered by the Saturday before that. Also, same thing with New Year's. So New Year's is then going to fall. So the 31st is going to fall on the Monday as well. And 30th is going to fall on Sunday. So make sure that by the 29th, all your shopping is done because probably in most um, places, it's going to be either a half day or a full day closed so make sure that you get all your groceries done but know that 25th and 26th are holidays nationwide okay so this is for you to prepare yourself also if you want to use the post office services you have a deadline I'm going to put the date here as well so if you have to send cards if you have to send some things out just make sure that you have to do it on time also most of the kitas and the schools are going on breaks actually all of them are going on breaks but they are going to be at different times of course depending on which state that you are in so most of them are going to be starting around 21st of december so start planning these things and i know a lot of us are still thinking oh we're going to do 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 that do that but kita is also closing for a break same as the schools. so make sure that you are covered for that time so you remember last year we talked about the energy price breaks like for gas and for gas and electricity where the prices were frozen and they wanted to do with this till march 2024 but now mr lindner says nope it's going to end by the end of this year this comes after the court ruling that has now put the whole budget in total chaos so yeah it's probably going to have us see rising prices in in electricity and gas and this is the last month that we are going to be enjoying the cheaper ones i hope not but let's just keep our eye out for the current situation now that i've said most of the new things that are coming in the month of december let me grab my moringa tea and oh it's still hot one thing that also happened um yeah in december as well i believe it was the first or the last when was it i think it was thursday actually the 30th of november i believe was the reading the first debate of the dual citizenship law now what is special about this dual citizenship law is that they have started a debate and some parliamentarians are still positive that by spring next year we'll be able to it will be law and people can apply according to the specifications of the law or the regulations or the requirements of the law the debate had two main um positions so the cdu um members or representatives were like three or five years depending on how the person qualifies is not enough time for the person to integrate and it's going to be endangering the peace of the country because people will not be well integrated and then miss nancy pfizer was then saying no um we have to have more relaxed immigration rules we have to make it easier for people to integrate because we need a skilled workers to be here in germany so these are the two 
main things and also they want to make sure that somebody who is um, on the spectrum of anti-semitism somebody who is a supporter of anti-semitism um, should not be given the opportunity to get the German passport another question that I've been getting also was is it right like what should I do should I wait for the new law and apply or should I not or should, should I just apply now it depends on your circumstances actually um, the thing is now with the new updates and the 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 legislative or some members of the, the Bundestag saying that they are sure that the law is going to come out and it's going to um, um, be passed by spring next year then you can expect that by um, September or something will be implemented because they would still need some time for this to be implemented and the thing is even if you put your application in now it's not going to be processed now December now it will need time for it to get to your turn because a lot of um, towns there's a lot of cities have a backlog you know so by the time it gets to your turn probably the law would have been is already um, in effect and you would be able to um, enjoy the benefits of the new law the new dual citizenship law so if you ask me and you don't have anything that is holding you back if you think that you qualify already at five years and you want to put it in fine the least the worst that can happen is that they will tell you oh um, the law is not passed yet it gets your your turn to say the law is not passed yet but um, if by the time they are processing yours the law is passed they're not going to say that we are going to use the law that you that was applicable when you applied but the law that is applicable as they are processing it so then if you apply later and now and they are processing it like in three months then obviously by then they know that okay this law hasn't passed it's in effect and the person um, um, qualifies according to this new law you get so it is up to you if you want to take um, the risk and you know just keep your mind at bay and just put in the application and relax in Berlin for example they are creating a new um, office or let me, is it the new department you know to deal with this because they have a big backlog so in a place like that you can just you know apply and just wait it out because some people some people's application take up to two years depending on where they are um, and things have changed when I applied for my German passport I was young and I had a different um, qualification process because I did a tour in Germany and I was dependent on my mom so it, I just had to bring my mom's pay slips and show my betrothed zeugnis and literally I was in, you know, and I didn't have to do any integrations, course, labor, whatever, I didn't have to do any of that. So it depends on your situation and how you've grown up in Germany for you to be able to do that, guys. I'm talking this mildly because I'm cold. I just came back from a brunch. I've overfed. And now I need to drink Moringa tea to wake up. So guys, yes, this is the, the summary of the update of what happened in Parliament regarding the new dual citizenship law. And I hope this helps. If you have any questions, Comment them down below or send me an email at info at the .de. And yes, I'm still your interpreter, um, your court interpreter, your legal interpreter. So if you need any services regarding life in Germany, regarding who to contact, regarding any letters you've got and you don't know what to do, just shoot me an email. We will schedule an appointment and we will talk about it. Okay. So. Happy first Advent Sunday and I wish you all the best and I'll see you not next week but tomorrow with another topic. Bye bye.